All right, so here we go with pounds, drives, and pull-ups. So what Noah's gonna do is he's gonna go with four straight pounds, one with his left hand and his left foot, one with his left hand and his right foot, then with his right hand, right foot, right hand, left foot, all right? And what he's doing on this is to see how far he can step, how far he can step and how far he, uh, he can dribble, all right? Because we wanna see what angle he's at right now compared to what angle he'll be at later. So if he's right here, his back is at this particular angle. So later on, when people normally drive, they're up here in angle, maybe over here, all right? So right now, he's right here. Right now, his feet are right there and right there, and the ball's right there. Could the ball be out further? I believe so, his arm's not fully out. But we're gonna see where he's at later on when he gets to the second part of the drill. The second part of the drill is the drive portion. When you drive, you wanna start from the same spot, step in the same spot, dribble in the same spot as you're doing right now for the pounds. He did not do so, all right? He didn't step that far. His foot and the ball weren't in alignment at the same time, and he wasn't nearly as low. So as I fast forward this, boom, he couldn't get as low as he was before. Uh, he did step kind of far, did dribble kind of far, but he wasn't where he was before, so he's not as low. So he's not using gravity to make himself go, go faster. He's not low enough so that the defense can't stay with him, right? Because it's a downhill race if you do this properly. So for this drill, it's four pounds, four layups, and then you do the same thing with four jump shots. The reason that you can't get down that low is because your legs aren't strong enough yet. But what you want to do is you want to practice this over and over and over again so that your legs can be strong enough. Okay, so the goal is to practice it over and over and over again so that your legs become strong enough. So you know, the best place to do that is practice. All right, if, you know, if you notice behind them right here, there's no crowd. There's no scoreboard. There's no parents. There's no coaches. There's no other team. So right now, you can fall. Right now, you can take the steps that you just took at the beginning because we're not comparing him to Michael Jordan. We're comparing him to Noah. So here he goes compared to Noah right there. So he is now going against himself. We just saw him make this step. We know that he can do it. Now, can he do it without falling down? I don't know, but he's not even giving himself a chance. All right? But if you look at the two angles, one version right there with the other version right here. If you're trying to go somewhere, you want this second version to be as low as the first angle was, all right? If we put both those right there, that would be where you would want to be. You would want to reach down as far as you could, reach out in front of you so that you can blow past your defender. This is a great way of taking a quick first step to be like Allen Iverson, to be like guys like John Moran, all right? And if you watch him in a bit, you can also see that he takes a negative step before it and he kind of tells his defender when he's gonna go. So his defender's trying to figure out when he's gonna drive, when he's gonna drive, when he's gonna drive. Well, he's gonna tell you. He not only tells you once, but he'll tell you twice. And he'll basically say, and now I'm going. Well, that gives the defender way too big a chance to stay in front of him. So as we watch it play out, he's trying to match his steps doesn't quite do it. When you don't match your steps, that's, that's when you end up taking too many dribbles to the basket. That's when you end up not going by your defender. That's when you end up getting blocked, etc. So again, you're gonna do this four times for the pounds in four different ways. Then four times for the layups, four times for the jump shots, each in two different ways. Now, when you dribble, you do wanna do it as he just did it, all right? So he just now took a right hand, right foot, dribble he did step beforehand but it's all right all right so that's that's one two three those are the steps that you want to take when you go right and right or left and left but if you go right and left you just want to take two steps or left and right you just want to take two steps here he goes that's with the right foot and right hand again oh i think he's trying to do the left foot and right hand all right so he, he stepped with his right foot first which he shouldn't have done because again, it's a tell. You're going, I'm not going anywhere. Then you're kind of going. What was that? Because you kind of went nowhere. 
right? And the defender's still in front of you. He, he's moved nowhere. Now he's reacting. And then you step with the other one. They could also get you for a travel since you didn't dribble the ball during that time. And again, you want to copy your ghost right here. So your transparency is what you want to copy off of. Again, he steps back, then forward, then again forward. So in that one, he took five steps for something that should have been two or three. One more time. Again, we are aiming for the ideal. Steps back, steps forward. Uh, it's kind of a better one stepping forward, but not still not that good. So I'm sure that you get the point by now. All right, this is the drill where, again, we go with four pounds, four drives, four pull-ups in four different ways. And we do it over and over and over again. And don't be afraid to fall down. Again, no one's there watching you. You can take care of this stuff on your own and just get better and better as time goes by. And if you can do this, people will not be able to stay in front of you because this is an offensive player's game. The defender does not know which way that you're going to go. The defender has to step laterally. You're stepping straight forward. And you have every advantage in the world over him because even if the defender slides in front of you, if you go straight enough, it's a foul. So practice this, get better at this, and I'll see you on the court. All right. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.